Good morning everyone. I know that it's been quite some time, but I've been extremely busy and I just wanted to get over here and make a video and kind of share with you all something that um, I did a few weeks ago. Um, so <clears throat> I do sound very congested. <laughs> um, I do rebuke this cold that's trying to come in the name of Jesus. But um, if there's anything that I say that you guys might not understand, please leave me a comment or a message and um, I can further clarify. <clears throat> but I made a huge, 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 huge decision a couple weeks ago and my partner fully supported my um, decision and I was filled with peace when I made that decision as well. <clears throat> and I feel like I made the right decision. But I quit my job. I quit my job where I was working with the organization that brings um, children from Eastern Caribbean or Central America here to the United States so that the child can receive life-saving surgery. And I quit my job because I wanted to focus on getting my master's in social work and I also wanted to focus on following my passion, which is to help women um, through their lived experience with trauma overcome and start their healing journey slash process um <clears throat> and i'm really really passionate about that most of you know that i am a survivor slash warrior from um sexual abuse when i was a child and i am a social worker now and i'm about to be a certified life coach in the next couple of weeks and i just feel really passionate about um walking in that journey and working with those individuals because I really think that throughout my life <clears throat> when I look back at all the people that I've helped and coached or counseled I'm just now like realizing like what that impact was and I left a huge impact when I left um my job and I met some great families, like I have connections with the family still, we still talk to this day, but I really just want to focus on, you know, helping women overcome from such a traumatic experience. And I feel like you lead by example. And unfortunately, I had to go through that um, experience but it's made me who I am today. And I want nothing more than to really be a resource and a support to educate and empower. Um, and that's, that's really it. And, you know, my job was great, but I can't really do those things there. And um, I share with you all how I met with the delegate and the um, senator a couple um, weeks ago. And they connected me to someone who reached out to me and they want me to work with them on doing the exact thing the exact same thing that i just shared with you um that i'm already passionate about doing so i'm super excited about the things that are coming in the future and i have the opportunity to we all do we all have the opportunity and the ability to set forth um bills by going to like the legislation and um basically advocating for something and um by the time um, crossover is over and the new legislative um, process starts over, I can introduce that bill. And I just, oh, like, <laughs> that's just so crazy. Like, I've, I've shared that I really just want to make an impact. And I couldn't be happier with sharing my passion for what I really feel like people need the most and I'm just really grateful to be able to share this and my journey with you all and welcome to my life as I walk in this journey you know T.T. Oprah said follow your passion and it will lead you to your purpose and I 1000% believe that and I'm just so grateful that even though I experienced something traumatic, I'm just so grateful to be where I am today. And I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to meet so many amazing people and continue to meet so many amazing people to bring my passion into real life. <laughs> um, and I'm not crying because I'm sad, um, but I'm just so passionate about 
what's coming and what's ahead so i welcome you guys on my journey thank you so much for watching this video and just remember that you know you are a warrior um and if you are passionate about something go for it don't be afraid a lot of people are afraid of making that that first initial step but <clears throat> have faith step out on it and believe that you can honestly and truly make a difference so stay encouraged be blessed and oh my god <laughs> until next time peace and blessings